good morning students welcome to success free classes we will do india yearbook 2017 it's a very beautiful government document that is important for both pt and mains now the importance is much as there are many questions that are being asked in the pt exam as from current affair so it will provide you authentic source for the government schemes it is also important for analysis of the certain portion of mains as well so the focus should be based on more of the new schemes as the yearbook if you see compared to the last years it has transformed itself a lot it is more focused on the new government programs and initiatives so we hope in the next say uh, 10 to 12 classes we'll try to complete this india yearbook so i hope you will enjoy if you like the videos you hit like subscribe to our channel as well and you can comment as well if you wish if you have any doubt thank you this chapter number 4 agriculture in today's class our objective would be to do agriculture comprehensively so that you develop your understanding you and not only develop the understanding you remember the points what points needs to be written in the exam so first we do whatever is given in the india book then we will come to the other notes so it starts with showing the importance of agriculture so it starts with uh, this certain figures that around 55% so it means more than 50% of our population it depends on agriculture for livelihood agriculture and allied activities as per census 2011 and how much it contrib contributes to gva 17.4% so this shows the importance of agriculture as a sector now certain government initiatives these are again highlighted there ki what are the steps taken by the government so in terms of soil fertility soil soil health card scheme is there then regarding irrigation and water use efficiency there is krishi sinchai yojana pradhan mantri gram sinchai yojana then regarding organic farming you have from pragat krishi vikas yojana and unified national agriculture market to enhance the income of the farmers so these are certain initiatives that have been taken in the last couple of years But then there is this policy national policy for farmers certain time questions also asked in terms of policy in this year exam previous 2016 mains the question was asked certain national child policy was asked so this is national policy for farmers in 2007 so whatever comes to your mind regarding agriculture that what should be done all these things are included in this policy so you can go through them once for example land reforms asset reforms in terms of land water livestock fisheries bioresources support services input application agriculture by security system good quality seeds soil fertility improvement IPMS integrated pest management system certain support service support services for the children nutrition health so all these things are included in our national policy for farmers npf use of ICT then implementation effective implementation of MSP across the country agriculture market infrastructure rural non farm employment initiatives for farm households integrated approach for rural energy now come to certain major initiatives major programs of the government so the first one discussed is pm ksy pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana so it's a major initiative by the government and it includes is a holistic program regarding irrigation so it has various components for example increasing the area under irrigation cultivable area under irrigation for example uh, no, if you see how much is the current area under irrigation how much is area under rain fed rain fed yes around 45 to 50% around is the area under irrigation and 55% around is somewhere rain fed irrigation rain rain fed we have so that's it's very important to 
इंक्रीज द एरिया कल्टिवेबल एरिया अंडर इरीगेशन देन इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड इंप्रूव ओन फार्म वाटर यूज एफिशियंसी मीन वट एवर वाटर दैट इज यूज इन द फार्म increasing efficiency of that that water reduce the wastes enhance adoption of precision irrigation and other water saving technologies so objective is more crop per drop in the budget speech also our fm had emphasized over this one thing is har khet ko pani right so har khet ko pani and more crop per drop so the emphasis is more over enhancing the Water is efficiency on the field means if you see more crop per drop means every crop means sorry every drop has to be productive, right? Enhance recharge of aquifers and introduce sustainable water conservation practices. So all these are the components under Kirshi Sichai Yojana. So how you can How you can enhance the on-farm water, on water use efficiency by focusing over precision irrigation, for example, sprinkler irrigation, drip irrigation. Then credit, Kisan credit card. Just for PT purpose, you can remember uh, it's implemented. The scheme is implemented by commercial banks, cooperative banks, and RRBs. And The scope has been broad-based to include term credit and consumption needs. For PT only, you should remember. Then come to insurance. You have national crop insurance program, which has various components. For example, modified national agriculture scheme, weather-based crop insurance scheme, and coconut farm insurance scheme. So these are various schemes, insurance schemes, crop insurance schemes. The important one is. प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना सो वट आर द कंपोनेंट्स अंडर प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना हाउ मच प्रीमियम हैज टू बी गिवन बाय द फार्मर्स सो द फार्मर्स विल पे ए प्रीमियम ऑफ 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज फॉर खरीफ क्रॉप सॉरी फॉर ऑल खरीफ क्रॉप टू रुपीज फॉर वन पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज फॉर रबी क्रॉप Two rupees for Kharif crops and five rupees for horticulture crops. So, as for season-wise, you can remember 1.5 in the winters for Rabi, then two rupees for Kharif and five rupees for horticulture crops. The rest of the premium shall be uh, borne by the government. That is percentage or rupees? Two, sorry, is is percentage it is the total overall. Uh, Yes, I'm sorry about it. It's the total percentage that we talk about. In in mains uh, last year in PT also came. In mains also the last year the question has come. Fasal bima yojana. It is also rupees we can say rice wheat two rupee per kg. Wheat is one rupee like this. Sorry. We can quantify in rupees term as well. Rice and wheat. Rupees. If you rupees wala there was mention. Uh, if you compare from 100 rupees then it can be fine right so the difference of 2% and 1.5% because kharif are right but see the thing is because in uh, rabi crops 1.5% less why less is charged because there are less chances of the destruction of the crops because kharif crop is more dependent on the monsoon and monsoon is very much variable very much erratic there are chances of more losses in the kharif crops than in rabi whenever monsoon fails we see the production declines basically of kharif crops a lot and horticulture crops why because is perishable in nature they get perished very easily and more what 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 other components are there of uh, this fasal bima yojana what are other components hmm? no no don't come to this next one i'm talking about what are other components of fasal bima yojana why this scheme is more attractive means why what is something new in this uh, 
so the basically you, you need to remember this percentage and certain what other initiatives what other are there in fasal bima yojana Uh, this is fasal bima yojana what are the features these are given 2% premium for kharif 1.5% for rabi 1 crop one rate 5% premium for commercial and horticulture crops no upper limit yes whatever no upper limit this is very important component is whatever the losses are every loss has to be covered so before there was cap on premium rates resulting into low claims what's new cap removed now farmers will get claim against full sum insured without any reduction technology will be used intensively so smartphones to capture and upload data of crop crop cutting to reduce delays in claim in the claim to the farmers remote sensing to reduce the number of crop cutting experiments so use of technology will be included so that the claim process can be effectively announced sir one more point is that it is compulsory for the farmers avoiding uh, crop loss for notified crops sorry come again it is compulsory for farmers mm -hmm. avoiding crop loss for, yes for notified crops in notified areas for a particular area the government has mentioned that only this crop can be used is that no no that is for unke liye to compulsory hai wo to lena hi padega where there are more predictability more chances of the losses government wants them they should be mandatorily covered under the fasal bima yojana we can now come back to year book then you have special rehabilitation package for distressed farmers now this is important because farmer suicide is very important issue very significant issue that our farmers are facing and that's why it becomes very important for our exam as well so it specifically comes question regarding farmer suicide and the question can come because it has been prevalent right so question can become regarding the reasons for farmer suicide and what can be the measures as well or what are the various government initiative also so how will you deal so overall definitely one way is to tackle the agriculture productivity overall you focus on the agriculture productivity overall so that farmers their income can increase when government objective of doubling the farmers income by 2020 can be materialized then definitely the society problem will get reduced right so one way is focus on those then there are specific initiatives especially for the for example distressed farmers to counter the farmer suicide so here is one we have special rehabilitation package for 31 suicide prone districts in four states andhra maharashtra karnataka and kerala so this rehabilitation package you can remember that government has certain initiative what else could be done specifically to tackle about farmer suicide certain specific point we have done one article if you remember dealing with farmer suicide what was do you remember certain uh, certain date certain figure like what was the analysis hmm 
और बताइए यस आर्टिकल इट वाज दैट इट वाज मेंशन दैट मोर सोसाइटीज फ्रॉम स्मॉल स्मॉल फार्मर्स देन मार्जिनल देयर वाज अ कंपैरिजन देयर वाज आल्सो दैट ऑर्गेनाइज्ड फार्मर्स ऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेक्टर लोन्स देयर इज मोर मोर वेरी गुड so ncrb data came and then it was analysis national crime record bureau data so what was one of the point that the if they are yeah correct if they are indebted because of the formal loans then they are these are more uh, suicides are happening in this area than in the informal loan so what was the reason what was the in fact uh, certain uh, hypothesis was given correct so this is something you can suggest in the majors as well specifically for farmer suicide टैकलिंग दिस फार्मर सुसाइड इन दट आर्टिकल the dealt with that there should be certain monitoring monitoring at the village level because who are the people who do the suicide they have lost hope for the life they don't see anything else they see there is nothing positive in this life then only people resort to suicide right so it means they are already in the distress so why not to have certain body for example even the nabard could do so along with the uh, say collaboration with the local bodies pris that local level monitoring can happen ki who are the people who are in the most distress condition so once you monitor them you watch them you take the adequate measures socio psycho sensors or maybe analysis yes correct what ac ac chal nahi raha ऑफ करना अब पीछे बैठ जाओ फिर आप यहां पर आ जाइए पीछे वहां पर नहीं आएगी अब ठीक है बिकॉज इट विल बिकम हॉट आफ्टर सम टाइम इफ यू स्विच ऑफ इट then uh, come to this it is important for your uh, pd point of view commission for agriculture costs and prices cacp so what cacp does it gives recommendation regarding the msp right it set up with a view to evolving balance and integrated price structure so mandated to advise on the msp policy for 23 crops so if the question comes who decides who decides msp rook the option to dete hain abhi who decides msp cacp uh cabinet committee of economic affairs cca right then other option you can take any uh, so among these two what will be ha huh? cca yes again it is a political decision ठीक है कितना रेट देना है ठीक है रेलवे में किराया कितना लेना है लोगों से ये पॉलिटिकल डिसीजन होते हैं राइट सो एनी बॉडी कैन नॉट जस्ट मेक इट मैंडेटरी इट विल बी डिसाइडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट सो सीसी इज व्हाट इज गवर्नमेंट बेसिकली डिसीजन बाय द गवर्नमेंट कैबिनेट कमेटी इट इज आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट इट बट या मिनिस्टर्स आर देयर कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स आर देयर सो मींस गवर्नमेंट डिसीजन इट इज इट्स अ कैबिनेट कमेटी हम So it was a question in I think 14 mains, yes, 14 sorry 14 prelims, 15 prelims. 15 prelims. Okay, 15 yes, prelims. Me question that is, who decides? Uh, Sugar prices. Yeah. So even there, MSP. When you talk about FRP there or MSP here, the decision has to be taken by the. It's a political decision. But again, see how CSCP does it. On what basis? What are the major things that CSCP considers? Yes, CACP recommends. CCEA, Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. So it's a cabinet committee consisting of the major cabinet ministers. So how it decides over MSP? It comes to this analysis by having the demand and supply, demand and supply of the. 
say uh, those commodities the cost of the production so it gives the recommendation on this, on this policy report every year and separately for say kharif rabi crop sugarcane separately rose wheat and copra separately so it also takes into view takes into consideration the view of the various state governments the various organization concerned ministries as well so it is taking the inputs from the various organizations it is not deciding solely on certain one parameter only so that's why it is said here in the yearbook as well that it is not a cost plus basis only means not only deciding on the cost of the production though cost of production is one component but not the sole component i come to this how what commission thinks into when it decides on msp determinants of msp everything demand and supply cost of production whatever uh, market sentiments in the international market domestic market crop price parity trade implication of msp on the consumers then ensuring optimal utilization of natural resources like land and water a question can come in pt that what are the various things that commission cscp keeps in mind while deciding msp and for example one of the point is this that ensuring optimal utilization of natural resources like land and water you may get confused that whether it also take into consideration this fact or not so it also sees the sustainability of our production system as well although they may change the term they may not directly use that ensuring optimal utilization of natural resources like land and water in some other word judicial utilization of the resources then it says cost of production is an important factor but not the only factor so recommending msp of various crops is not a cost plus price exercise though cost is an important determinant Probably you are able to understand, appreciate this. So if the question come, you will be able to understand it. I come to ICAR. Now this is our premier agriculture research institution. It comes under Department of Agriculture Research and Education, DARE, D-A-R-E, Department of Agriculture Research and Education. Now what are various initiatives taken by ICAR? these are specific initiatives remember these farmers first student ready arya what is arya attracting retaining youth in agriculture atfc agritech foresight centers mera gaon mera goro what are the major objectives building entrepreneurship amongst the agriculture graduates and improving technology delivery as well as knowledge empowerment of farmers So need to remember these initiatives. See, okay, in PT the question can come. Student ready is what? From the name itself, it doesn't signify it may regarding agriculture research, right? But these initiatives by ICAR in ag agriculture research basically encouraging entrepreneurship in agriculture and announcing the knowledge and education base. Mera gaon, mera goro. Right. Tell me, Priya, what are the initiatives by ICAR? Dekho koi ni, phir se dekho. Bataiye. Yes, Kushagar. Sir, Naresh. And uh, mera gaon, mera, mera first one, what did you tell? Yes, sir. First one, what did you tell? Nareesh. National Nareesh? Agriculture Research and Education. Sir. Okay, right. Hmm. What else? And then this Agri Tech Foresight Center and hmm. Student hmm. Ready. Hmm. And, uh, and Mera Gaon, Mera Gaon for building entrepreneurship. And one more is Farmer First. Farmers First. Then there is Vision 2050 for ICAR. Yeah. 
Now there are certain initiatives. It says talked about hailstorm that caused crop losses to the wheat crops regarding monsoon that was delayed. So there were certain losses to the farmers. So what it brings, it brings the responsibility in the agriculture research to bring out certain in innovative solutions, so that there can be the resilience can be built in agriculture against any kind of these uh, natural calamities or natural factors. I come to soil and water productivity. There is electronic atlas of water resource for Odisha and Himachal Pradesh. So what it does? So GIS based business board system it is. So assessment, catch assessment, catchment assessment it does. This atlas and helps in the efficient and effective decision making. So what it does, there are certain uh, things that regarding soil and water productivity. So for example, bamboo plantation based bioengineering intervention regarding mahi ravines, chamul ravines. So just remember a few things about nothing more. Basically what it says that by all these initiatives, it could absorb more than 80% of rainfall and reduce the soil and nutrient losses by 90 and 70% respectively. So these initiatives basically give focus on how the resources can be utilized with the maximum efficiency. Right now come to next climate change. So it says the cool farm tool model. So there is a model that uh, there is cool farm tool model. So what it does, it helps in bringing the estimation of emission of GHGs. Integrate integrates several various globally determined empirical GHG quantification models. So kind of model it is so that integrates various world level practice various models. So, what has been found that maize and wheat cropping registered highest carbon management index. And the seasonal methane emission that was reduced by 75% in aerobic rice as compared to continuously flooded rice. Let's see what happens in the rice, uh, rice irrigation, the paddy irrigation. So, flood irrigation generally is followed. Right. So in flood irrigation, there is a lot of wastage of water as well as it leads to emission as well. Then discuss about seasonal emission or lower in slow release nitrogen fertilizer. How this slow release nitrogen fertilizer, even you can link it to the last PT question. Last year PT question was neem coated urea. So this was one of the function of neem coated urea. Slow release of nitrogen fertilizer. What is the function? What it does? Anybody would explain this? So, this uh, how neem coated urea results into slow release of nitrogen fertilizer. Binding. Means what actually is the function? So it's acts so the neem coated urea basically it acts as a nitrogen inhibitor right so so urea so ultimately what is what is consumed by the plants the plant roots so can they uh, can they be used directly nitrogen as well? So the nitrate they are being taken by the by the plants. So this name regulates the amount that has yes. to be taken. If it, if it is consumed in a single process, then the, the, uh, this phylum and xylem they won't uh, 
function yeah basically in the neem coated urea that helps in that basically reduces the conversion of yeah of the urea into further nitrite and further nitrate so it slows down the process and it slows down the process to increase the efficiency of usage because otherwise extra extra nitrogen that nitrate is there that would have been wasted yes because the, even the plant roots can't take nitrates you know uh, uh, to the any amount of manner at a particular time they ha they have a certain capacity to intake certain nitrate level so if the fertilizer releases nitrate in the same level that plants are taking then that is the maximum utilization of the resources maximum best with the best efficiency the urea can be consumed so that's why we focus on slow release of nitrogen fertilizer as well and it also reduces the emission also then you come to livestock improvement and the india is the leading uh, milk production milk producing nation in the world with sustainable increase in annual milk production regarding technology assessment you just remember that there are certain kisan mobile advisory so it's an initiative by icar so certain messages are sent to the farmers on the various aspects of agriculture this message is text message voice message under this kisan mobile advisory then there is national agriculture science fund what is this national agriculture science fund for so this fund what this will help just read these few lines this fund will help in basic and strategic research in agriculture supporting reviewing monitoring various ongoing projects and funding of new projects which are which were in the process of evaluation so basically the projects will be funded and research in agriculture will be supported by this agriculture science fund so this fund is managed by ics basically i think so or uh, department of agriculture research and education maybe because dre is the under which even icr functions so basically overall it will be dare department of agriculture research and education then there is animal husbandry dairying and fishery so when you talk about agriculture and this is how you can support the incomes of the farmers so not only from the say agriculture but from allied activities also the income of the farmers can be enhanced and what comes in allied activities all these things animal husbandry dairying fisheries so there is department separate department of agriculture animal husbandry dairying and fisheries and there is national dairy development board national fisheries development board so just need to remember that in allied you have dairying and fisheries and for these dairy and fishery you have separate development board as well what are the functions of this department so these are major functions now what these function will help this functions will help if the question comes on for example allied activities so what the functions are the same thing actually needs to be strengthened also for example if you read all these points the first point suppose you are asked certain measures certain measures to be taken in the allied sector or certain measures to be taken in the dairy development so these objectives can be the measures as well you read them that requisite infrastructure for improving animal productivity infrastructure for handling processing and marketing of milk and milk products preservation and production of livestock through provision of healthcare and there were certain initiatives taken in the last budget regarding livestock health of the livestock do you remember those yes sir i will we uh, complete these first and we come to that strengthening of central livestock farms cattle sheep and poultry for development of superior germplasm and distribution to state 
aquaculture, expansion of aquaculture in fresh and brackish water, development of marine fisheries, infrastructure, and post harvest operation welfare of fisher folk. So when you talk about development of fisheries, we need to focus, we need to give attention to the welfare of fisher folk as well. Just not to con uh, concern about the fisheries only. Okay? Fishery kon kar hai, fisher fox kar hai. So their welfare also need to be taken into consideration. So go through these points again. So what were the initiatives, the certain initiatives in the last budget regarding livestock? Uh, Nakul Swasthya Patra, right? So Nakul Swasthya Patra, that is animal health card basically. What else? Both achha. So there was also specialist uh, bovine program. There was no, there was the indigenous breed. Yes, for the for the promotion of in, in, indigenous breed also, the program was there. Then breeding, regarding breeding technology as well, development of those, what else? Then there was uh, Pashudan Sanjeevani. Pashudan Sanjeevani for what? What is Pashudan Sanjeevani? Yes, right. Animal insurance. So, these are certain initiatives that were taken in the last budget regarding livestock. Even they, these would be mentioned in uh, my notes as well, once we do that. So go through these initiatives again, go through these uh, points again, that if question you are supposed to write regarding livestock or a light sector, then what to write. Then we see the importance. Importance of life sector. Huge importance in national economy and socio-economic development. Why socio-economic development? Economy you understand, you can easily relate. Now, why socio-economic development? Tell you. Animals are also led by poor. Yes, correct. Very good. So, who are the people? Yes. So, moreover, more livestock uh, helps when, uh, in case of natural calamity, you are drawn. They are the first Yes, one correct. Uh, correct. Right. So these are the reasons why Sustainable. it can help in the yes socio-economic development. What they further can contribute in these are very important points regarding a light sector. You need to in fact remember them all. Not only the food basket and the nutrition security, household income of farmers, and gainful employment in the rural areas, particularly among the landless small and marginal farmers and women besides providing cheap and nutritious food and they are the best insurance for farmers against vagaries of nature like drought and other natural calamities in case the farmers suffer the crop loss it will be very difficult for farmers to sustain so these animal husbandry livestock they provide the cushion against those kind of the vagaries of nature so additional supplement income, they support farmers by enhancing their income. Otherwise there are huge, you can say, uh, uncertainty in the monsoon, huge uncertainty in monsoon resulting into uncertainty in the productivity as well. Regarding milk production, India, you know, world's largest milk producing nation, around 145 million tons. And again, signifies the importance, the dairy, the same points are again, the importance of dairy. As a support source, as a support, as in income for the rural families. And very important in providing employment and income generating opportunities, particularly for women and marginal farmers. So, socio-economic development, the small and marginal farmers, the poor and the women also. So, all these categories of people, they get the support. 
Now what else could be done? How, what should the focus on? On the cooperative infrastructure. We have seen the operation flood initially had helped a lot in strengthening the milk production. Operation flood. But then later on we see the there are certain issues, many issues they came up with the cooperative structure, cooperative system. So need to strengthen the cooperative infrastructure, revitalization of sick dairy cooperative milk unions, and creation of infrastructure in the states for produ production of quality milk and milk products. Then you have NDDB, National Dairy Development Board. Then what was the initiative taken in this budget regarding certain cooperatives? Certain credit cooperative society certain initiative was there. Do you remember? So under NABARD, there was certain initiative for these credit cooperative societies. They were to be integrated with the district credit cooperative computerization of the integration of that so that easy credit can be accessed by the farmers. Special fund was created in Yes, that was for the micro irrigation fund. So in the irrigation, you have two funds, two major funds. One is LTE, uh, sorry, uh, LTI, long term irrigation fund, and secondly, micro irrigation fund that has been established in this budget. So regarding bovine breeding and dairy development, so bovine breeding technologies, indigenous breeds and all these uh, should be encouraged. Else you remember those certain initiatives by the government regarding livestock. That's it. Then there was national dairy plan in 2013. Dairy entrepreneurship development. So focus is on promotion of private investment in dairy sector. To increase the milk production and helping in poverty reduction through self-employment opportunities. So what this scheme is? Dairy Entrepreneurship Development Scheme. So the focus is on encouraging entrepreneurship in the dairy sector. The scheme will be implemented through NABARD by providing financial assistance to commercially bankable projects with loans from commercial, cooperative, urban and rural banks. Then come to NLM, National Livestock Mission. What are the, what are the objectives of NLM? You read these uh, objectives. Now it's very important mission it is, National Livestock Mission. Sustainable development of livestock sector, focusing on improving availability of quality feed and fodder, risk coverage, effective extension, skill development, improved flow of credit and organization of livestock farmers and rearers. The other objectives, development of small ruminants, pig green poultry, modernization, automation, automation and biosecurity to enable production of improved breed of goats, sheep, pigs and stocks of low input technology chicken. The first four or five lines are very important. You need to remember what are the major objectives of NLM. So basically sustainable development of livestock sector. Focus on improving quality of feed and fodder. Risk coverage. Effective extension. Skill development. Flow of credit. So these are major points regarding NLM. Risk management. So risk management also need to be strengthened in every in these uh, business as well there are risks linked to the dairy development and all so me risk mechanism to farmers against any eventual loss of their animals due to death this risk management is part of this is a submission under NLM <coughs> national livestock mission come to fisheries fisheries keep on flipping pages you will come to fisheries so regarding fisheries 
certain data that India is second largest producer of fish in the world, contributing around 5.68 percent of global fish production. Then which country is at number one? China. So India is second in overall fish production and in the aquaculture as well. So in both it is second. So in China is first in both. So inland fish, inland fisheries and aquaculture. So India is second largest producer of fish in total and from aquaculture. So in both it is at number two. So basically, from where the fishery products to be sourced to meet up the demand from aquaculture, then culture-based capture fisheries and reservoirs. Now coming to marine fisheries. Now, in overall, if you see, there is the global production has reached certain stagnation regarding marine marine fisheries. So even when you talk about certain issues in fisheries. Major focus is on the marine fisheries because there has been unsustainable exploitation of the available fishing resources, and it leads to the stagnation point somewhere. So that is certain point that need to be given focus. So here also takes the same uh, effect that it has stagnated gradually, and many stocks have been either over exploited or have reached their maximum maximum sustainable yields. So there has been. So it is not only in case of India. In overall, the whole global trend, it is. So over exploitation of the available marine fishery resources. And these are certain ongoing schemes. We read them one by one. Development of inland fisheries and aquaculture. See, they won't come in PT for sure. But thing is what. If some question comes in mains regarding allied sector, regarding fisheries, for fisheries very important sector because uh, even in the paper one the question can come industry. So even the geography part that you have, fishery can be termed as an industry there. It can come in paper three also. ठीक है तो even specifically regarding fishery the question can come. So if you have certain ongoing schemes, you should have an idea about it. So one thing is have the analysis about the both aquaculture and the state of marine fishery, then certain schemes that are there. Development of inland fisheries and aquaculture, then marine fishery development, infrastructure and post harvest operation, then welfare of fishermen. See on one side, the first scheme is regarding inland fishery and aquaculture. Second, marine. Third, welfare of the people who fish actually. Welfare of fishermen. Fourth, strengthening of database and geo, uh, geo, geographical information system. So, use of technology, use of GIS for fishery sector. Just how you use it for the other agriculture sector. Same for the fishery as well. <coughs> Then, assistance to fishery institutes, the National Fishery Development Board. So, just like you have NDDB, National Dairy Development Board, you have National Fishery Development Board. Then, biometric identity cards to coastal fishermen. Very important point it is. So all these are points regarding schemes linked to fisheries. So even you can give suggestion regarding to resolve the issue between India and Sri Lanka on the on the fishery, right? So even that issue keeps on going, and our fishermen they are being caught by the Sri Lankan uh, uh, Navy and coast. Same way we do, right? There is a livelihood issue going on there for the Tamil Nadu fishermen. So you can see how strengthening our fishery, our this industry can help even resolve our foreign relations as well, our bilateral relations also. Blue revolution, the overall integrated approach, holistic approach for the development of fisheries and the aquaculture sector in country. So this is blue revolution. So that's all from this chapter.
so revise this chapter again then we do other points linked to agriculture Revise it. the importance of agriculture sector. NPF National Policy for Farmers. Abatai Vibhu, National Policy for Farmers. Something about it. For asset reforms in land, water, soil, etc. So, this policy of 2007. Yes. The support system, biosecurity system, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, plant giving uh, planting seeds, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that uh, pest pest management, right. pest management, and uh, that credit in institutional credit. So, what are comes to your mind regarding agriculture productivity? All the different components are included here. ICT. But the Kirshi Sai Yojana, Anchit, it's very important scheme of government of India. The government of India has given a lot of huge stake on this particular scheme. Krishi Sichai Yojana. So question be asked there. Very important. So what are the components of Krishi Sichai Yojana? Uh, more, uh, more crop by drop hmm. must be in, in this uh, scheme. Hmm. And uh, it basically uh, tries to uh, have an efficient mechanism for the on-farm water management Hmm. schemes, right. how the irrigation, uh, present irrigation mechanism which are in property farmers, they can be more uh, water efficient hmm. by employing more uh, hmm. precision based irrigation uh, schemes right. like drip good. orders. Yes, schemes. very good. And uh, yeah. enhance recharge aquifers and sustainable water conservation practices. Right. And increase the cultivable land under irrigation. So we need to also enhance the whatever land that is to be irrigated. But regarding crop insurance, what are the various schemes and their kushagar? National Crop Insurance Program, hmm. Modified National Agriculture Scheme, hmm. Weather Based Crop Insurance Scheme and Coconut, <laughs> Simple Design, Chalo, and Coconut Plan Insurance. insurance. Uh, and about Fasal Bima Yojana? The components of Fasal Bima Yojana, the various components. Mm -hmm. the uniform, uh, there is firstly there is no gap, then there is uniform uh, rates, mm -hmm. 2% for Kharif, which is uh, there, mm -hmm. and 1.9% for Rabi, 5% for Horticulture, yes, 5% right. for and Good. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the, balance, uh, the balance of the premium would be uh, mm -hmm. by the government. Right. What other points, uh, Priya? What fasal bima yojana? Provide insurance for your failure of crops. What other points can fasal bima yojana again? We talked a few. Yes. So it has a unique provision where earlier the damage caused by the natural calamities couldn't be assessed by the farmers. Now with this. Uh, scheme farmers can use uh, through the mobile application to agree picture yes. of that upload and you know con uh, subsequently the loss can be assessed. Okay. And any point else if something left? Uh, 
So, what is how the MSP is decided? Which is the body to decide what are the whole what the whole process? CCEA decides CCEA recommends. What CACP takes into consideration while coming to certain MSP figure? Water and water. Hmm? Uh, 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 yes, uh, prices and domestic and the okay, demand and supply, market. price here and international market. What else? Cost. Cost basically, yes. Cost of production. And, uh, and uh, consumer, what is uh, hmm? on the human, yes. Yes, and consumers, and interest and as well. Efficiency. Yes. Also, Efficient yeah. utilization of our resources as well. So all these are taken into consideration. So if the statement comes, it is a, it is a cost plus mechanism. Cost. If the statement comes that CACP CACP recommends MSP based on the cost plus mechanism, no. then it will be incorrect statement. Cost, cost plus cost plus mechanism. The, cost the code is only one factor. Though it is important factor, but only one. So we cannot say it's a cost plus mechanism. It also take into consideration views, opinions of the various go uh, state governments also. So state governments also have a say in the decision of the MSP. The various organizations and the ministries as well. Now, tell the schemes of uh, ICAR. Yes, yes Kavi. But I have. Ready, student ready. Student ready. Uh, Aria. Hmm. What is Aria? Aria is uh, agricultural uh, retaining youth. Uh, retaining youth in agriculture. Okay. What else? Mera gaon, mera gaon. Okay. Both achhi. Priya, batai schemes, ICR. Hmm. Um, ready, uh, student ready. Hmm. And Arya. So basic objective is what of all these schemes? Nice. So, to yes, entrepreneurship, skill, education, all these ensuring our youth that is engaged in agriculture. Right? It was observed that though uh, certain states which are say, said to be leading states in agriculture in India, for example, Haryana and Punjab, but still what is found that students, they, their engagement with the agriculture university is very low. Right? The status of the education and research regarding agriculture, even in these states, which are leading states in the overall country in agriculture, is very low. How it is, how it is, how it is come to conclusion? Because students' interest in those, for example, students interest to getting education from, for example, SAU, State Agricultural University, SAR, right, or other agricultural institutions is very low. People don't consider them as a certain uh, career, prospective career for them. So, that's why, when, unless students come for the education research in agriculture, how it will, research and education will develop in India. So, focus has to be given on Improve quality of research, having more and more collaboration with other in international institutions as well, so that it becomes a viable career option for them. So it was given in the last year economic survey about this particular point, that how it is seen and what should be done. So the suggestion was basically so that student it sh it should not be like it should be attractive for the student themselves. Like students should feel that. As they go, go into this career option, it is as much good as going into the medical or engineering, for example. Right? Even as engineering is uh, losing its uh, shine, basically. But <laughs> so agriculture can be a yes. Agriculture is very good option. Yes. So. <laughs> 
So, sport, you are given a question how to increase agriculture research in India. So, one thing is you talk about these research institutions, certain programs. Then you also focus over our research in research universities as well. Right? Why they are losing shine and what should be done to increase our youth to go into those universities to take education. Sir, maybe I think that you already existing agriculture universities are not well kept and not properly funded. Mm -hmm. Yes, and funding ki dikkat aap ke, funding problem you can give anywhere in most yeah, of the they, they cases. Didn't even have students, they didn't even have principals appointed mm -hmm. when the course was okay. waiting for 2 years. Okay. So that shows how seriously the government was taking. Right, so uh, these are certain programs by ICR, remember them. In your vision 2050 you have. And the last paragraph shows that with the increasing uh, say impact of climate change on agriculture, the responsibility comes on the research to bring certain innovative solutions to provide resilient agriculture system in India. Yes? Ah, sure. Regarding soil, soil and water productivity, what is the basis behind this particular paragraph? Bataiye. See and tell the main points. Use of technology GIS to locate it. Climate change, yes, sir. livestock improvement, we have done it. We can. Science fund, it is animal husbandry, dairy, fisheries. We have NDDB, National Fisheries Development Board. Functions, these are functions of again, you, you should go through them. I cannot say. <laughs> okay, now we do certain agriculture as an overall no we do agriculture only for it. So, what else so question can come okay what kind of questions can come in mains question can come as an overall overall from agriculture for example question can be regarding agrarian distress question can be regarding agriculture productivity it can be regarding farmer suicide. Points in most of the question would be same because reason for farmer suicide is distress in agriculture, agrarian distress. And one of the solution is increasing productivity. So even the agriculture productivity, the same question, the answer would be almost same. Many of the question, many of the points would be common. Now. For example, somebody asks you in a few lines, how do you make somebody understand that how you can tackle agrarian distress? What would you do? Sorry? Loan waiver. Loan waiver is the latest trend. Sir, land reforms. Okay. Irrigation, productivity of agriculture, credit and insurance, food security. According to uh, Swami Nathan Commission, these were the recommendations for prevention of pharmacists. Provide uh, affordable health insurance and uh, revitalize primary health centers. Hmm. The national uh, rural health mission should be extended to suicide hotspot locations on priority basis. So, what is your question? My question is <laughs> in a few lines, we make somebody understand what, how you can address. As a layman. Yes, how you can address agriculture, this agrarian distress. Sir, 
फिनोमिना एग्री डिस्ट्रेस you can work on uh, shifting the farmers from farm to non farm employment sir what is the structure of economy yeah means whatever if you want to address the problem for example productivity problem or distress there in agriculture or farmer suicide also so we have found so many people they are dependent on agriculture though they are not productive enough so one of the phenomena is and both both things should go in parallel hand in hand so on one side you work on improving improving the agriculture productivity and also you work for shifting the people from farm to non farm employment more employment for smes and assets so productivity yes. we can go for sale option contract and rural insurance sorry so, For productivity, we can go for sale of the contracts and mm. rural insurance, mm. supply chain infrastructure, yes. food processing. For productivity, get many points. Yes. Or formal, formal, formalizing leasing of agriculture. Okay, so that's all for today's class. If you like this video, you hit like and subscribe to our channel as well.